Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, we are in Orlando, Florida, and even more specifically than that, we are here at the beautiful Orange County Convention Center, and it is day two of IAPA, the trade show for amusement parks and attractions they have every year here in Orlando. And yesterday we covered a lot of ground. Got a lot of ground, we rode some rides on the show floor, saw some new debuting rides for major theme parks, and saw the uh, some of the spooky stuff in the haunt section. Uh, but today, today we got a lot more ground to cover. Did not quite make it to the halfway point of the show, the, of the show floor, so a lot of cool stuff to see, a lot more to explore. So uh, without further ado, please follow me. Okay, now where, where do we leave off? Hey there, giant mummy. You're over here at Alinko uh, Costumes. Oh yeah, I love the, love the mummy there. How are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Thumbs up? All right, what are your friends here? We got a, uh, Big spooky witch, the dragon back there. So they bear with antlers here. Of course, a bear with antlers, you call a, it's half, half bear, half deer, and it's called a beer. A beer. Oh, look at this big alien here. And the <laughs> executioner. Oh, I think I, they were using this mascot at the uh, Salem Museum of Torture. Wheelie She here as these like self-propelled rides be the glowing red reindeer or this horse here. Check out Jack-o'-lantern journey over here. Head inside some of these illuminated jack-o'-lanterns. Okay, in the back here there's this giant headless horseman. There's the uh, witches from Wicked. Should I go see this? Well, look out here on the exterior. Some animals on the pumpkins there. But what I really like is the uh, gorilla made of pumpkins. I think that's amazing. Max flight simulators here. Oh, look at this one. I think the people in there. I think the people in there are upside down. Oh my goodness. Looks like a pretty intense simulator. Whirly Drink Works makes these different like popcorn buckets and cups. You'll see they made the uh, the bucket and cup for uh, SeaWorld 60th anniversary. So the Knott's Berry Farm and uh, Six Flags popcorn buckets. Oh, look at that! Even the uh, Bucky's sippy cup. Robot lab here. I like this little guy. Hey there! Hey, buddy! Let's see. Uh, learn about me. Oh, this is Pepper. Nice to meet you, Pepper. Got a lot of food items back in this area, and uh, it's a little congested. I think people like to like to head over here and sample the food. All these vending machines, 24/7, make your pizza in three minutes. Oh, there's a a Dole Whip uh, machine that can make uh, make Dole Whips out of the out of the uh, vending machine there. 
Best pizza in the world. What's that? Best pizza in the Best world. Best pizza in the world? All right. Cotton candy machines here as well. You can see the, uh, the ice shavings being made there. And over here at the uh, Dippin' Dots booth, of course, we have my buddy, Frozetti the Yeti. How are you doing, buddy? Always good to see you. Oh, look at that. He's got the little Dippin' Dots there coming out of uh, coming out of his fur. Are you covered, covered in the dots? Uh, you're looking great, Frozetti. <laughs> Quite a stunning booth here, the Magical Concept Creators. Here's an entire facility so they can build this in two years it's like the hotel water park everything fantastic theme theming it's a zero latency VR oh whoa, whoa, whoa. step back <laughs> some more animatronic dinosaurs here this is the Shishwan genial technology company is Upside Down House UK. 20 sites worldwide coming soon. Apparently they also make a spinning house. All right, let's take a peek inside the Upside Down House. They said this is just a model that the uh, real ones will be bigger than this, more like a full-size house. See the dog on the ceiling there. Look at me, standing on the ceiling. This is Blacklight Attractions. This is owned by uh, the same uh, same folks that own the Darkness Haunted House in uh, St. Louis. They also uh, make escape rooms and uh, mini golf courses, as well as I believe they made, they made a few dark rides as well. Let's see the uh, the mini golf course set up there. You gotta put the ball. Oh, you gotta put the ball to get them to go. All right, all right, all right. I'm not playing. Oh, here comes the ball. Oh, now he's angry. <laughs> this will be for like a dinosaur mini golf. Yeah. Or, uh, a retro golf. Very cool. Nets Tribe here makes this uh, netting that you can like crawl through. I got deeply embedded in some of this stuff at Otherworld and uh, in Philadelphia. Buzz Park Turkey here supplying all these uh, balls for uh, ball pits. CFX here, they make some amazing silicone masks. Oh, we can touch them? Oh yeah, look at that. Like this cowboy here. He's got a bullet hole right there in his forehead. Oh, look at this happy guy. Timester here has a new product, the Infinite Launching Coaster. You can see there's like two trains on the track at the same time. And I guess they uh, so they load over here on each side, so they load separately, and then both coasters go uh, s they go at the same time. They're synchronized in their travels through the uh, through the track. This is Looney Times, and look at. Look at uh, look at this creature here. That's so adorable. I feel like if uh, if Jen was a monster, that's what that's the kind of monster she would be. Look at this cool wolf knight back here. You got Chester Cheetah handing out some brochures. Chance rides here makes a lot of different types of uh, amusement park rides, including carousels. Always love the uh, hummingbird. A hummingbird uh, carousel animal. One on one bumper car showdown here. Whitewater here has this uh, ride vehicle for a flume ride. 
you can you kind of see like I said you, with the, the display models you kind of see kind of the mechanics of how these rides actually work oh, another animatronic dinosaur here this is my dinosaur oh look how close oh that is a <laughs> I like this one Tailored to your imagination here has this amazing, this amazing steampunk octopus. Oh yeah, you can see the tentacle thrashing over here. Make your visual rise oh, yeah. from the He's a perfect way to go. Just take a look at some of his uh, escape rooms or any of his laser ties I ever done. He's got this. Yeah, we got Froggy's Fog over here. Making the smoke bubbles. Just walking around. The thing about the smoke bubbles is, yeah, you see that you pop them and they actually are full of smoke. Oh, you see that one? Always love checking the scent lab here to see what new wonderful scents they have. Scents such as raw sewage, rotting, decay. Pumpkin spice and poop fart. This is urine scented. Highly accurate. <laughs> and look at this pipe here. Walk through the fog. And look at the fog rising off my Crocs. All right, I had to ask permission to shoot the fog gun again. I'll show you. Can I shoot it this way? Is that safe? <laughs> On this aisle here, they have the IAPA Hall of Fame. Of course, who else? Who else should uh, start off the Hall of Fame than Walt Disney himself? This is Angus Wynn Jr. He invented Six Flags. There's liquid fireworks here. A lot uh, less likely to burn you than real fireworks. Oh, George, here's uh, George Roos. He founded Cedar Point. I have to hang out. Creative visits here. But uh, we seem to have a problem. We have a problem. Vandals have done something not so good. Oh, no. But I wouldn't worry too much about that. Okay. As long as no one says Messelbaum. Messelbaum? That bad. Oh, I just did that, didn't I? I this is the ghost screen. Look at that. That's pretty cool. You should. Great coasters here. Yeah, different coaster cars on display here. Yeah, here's another different style with the uh, lap bar that just comes down there without necessarily anything in front of you. Little miniature versions of potential roller coaster cars. This model here, this massive coaster. Skyline attractions here. Look at this coaster. It's uh, the the Paschetti, the Paschetti Bowl. I just love the name, the Paschetti Bowl. Because that is the Paschetti Bowl right there. I guess because it looks like a big pile of spaghetti. And I like this, the, the cart is actually tilted. You can see it's like got a tilt to the actual front of it. This is Alan Herschel. King of the carousels, and uh, he uh, the carousel his carousel factory is up uh, near Buffalo, New York. I visited there, and that visit inspired the summer of carousels here on the Carpet Bagger Channel. Always like to see what's going on here at Sally Dark Rides. Make a lot of the uh, modern dark rides. Here's the SpongeBob Crazy Carnival ride. I got a chance to ride this uh, this year at Circus Circus in Las Vegas. See plankton there popping out of the barrel. Now we've done a lot of the Ghost Blaster style dark rides that are made by Sally, but it says this is a miniature version of that. This is the mini dark ride. So it looks like your cart moves into here into more like a shooting gallery. Interesting. It's 
the Sesame Street dark ride, which looks amazing, but actually, it's actually in, I think, believe it's in Spain. But uh, it'd be cool to get one of these at one of the uh, SeaWorld or Busch Gardens parks. Now, a lot of the Sally dark rides are interactive, so they have these uh, different blasters for different rides. And um, yes, yeah, so this would be like on a pirate ride. I think that's Volcano in, uh, at Lost Island in Iowa. There's the turkey call. That's for the uh, Gobbler Getaway at uh, Holiday World in Indiana. Wilbert Morey here created Morey's Pier in uh, New Jersey, one of my favorite uh, boardwalks. Jack and Peter Hershen formed the uh, Hershen Family Entertainment, which uh, began at Silver Dollar City in uh, Branson, and now they uh, own Dollywood as well, and Kentucky Kingdom. Antonio Zamperla, the Zamperlas make a lot of different uh, amusement park rides. And who else? P.T. Barnum, the ultimate, uh, ultimate showman. <laughs> Dick Knoble from uh, Knoble's Amusement Park, one of my all-time favorite amusement parks, and the Knoble family still owns it. Uh, Dick actually spoke at the uh, birthday for their Haunted Mansion. Ah, and of course, Marie Tussaud, who basically created the uh, wax museum industry. Premier Rise, and they're showing a new coaster here. This is Alpen Fury coming to Canada's Wonderland. I do love the design here where it's actually made to look like a giant bobsled. You can see like the sled blades right there. Just please do not touch the vehicle. Probably because you don't want to touch those blades. Always fun to go out on one of these uh, paddle boats. The swan shaped paddle boat over there, the duck shaped paddle boat. Actually, it's a lot of work, especially if you do it by yourself. This is Venue's booth here. They have these ride around animals. And uh, yeah, I've been on a few of these. They're, <laughs> they're a lot of fun. I, Sometimes it's fun just to get on one of these and drive around them all. Looks like they also make pressed penny machines. I'm sure I've used some of their machines here in 2024, the year of the pressed penny. And here they actually have some unique pressed pennies for their company. So uh, yeah, let's get let's get this little mascot made. He's pretty cool. And there we go. A, a mascot on a pressed penny that is himself a pressed penny. They have claw machines as well. Let's see if we can um, get ourselves one of these corporate logos here. All right, let's drop it down. Oh, wait. It's not falling. Ah, oh, last second. Here's we have ventured into the uh, claw machine section here. This is uh, Coast to Coast Entertainment. All right, let's grab something. Well, we got we got six claws operating at the same time. It's like the hungry, hungry hippos of uh, claw machines. Okay, so they only they don't interfere with each other, but they're all pulling from the same pot. Let's drop it down. See if we can grab something. All right, we grabbed some of these that are like, oh, no, we didn't. Some of the stuffed animals that can be placed inside the uh, claw machines. I love this guy here. He is actually a claw from a claw machine, but he has a plushie. I, I want to win one of these at some point. That's my life goal. There's the e-claw machine. It actually has some of these plushie uh, claws in it. Let's see if we can... Uh, if we can manage to, to get the claw, grab the claw with the claw. Oh, oh, ah, oh, dang it. People vision here, check out this Ben Franklin. With the full body, with the detailed talking face. It's this book here, you can turn the pages, it's actually shaped like a book.
Oh, Cow Cowboy Hall of Fame. Just extra ice rinks here. They make skating rinks. The Maddox makes these uh, sculpted props here. This mad scientist. This is Ramp here. Love their little mascot. Futura foam here. Again, love the mascot. It's, a little elephant. it's an elephant with a mustache. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. This is National Fiber Technology. They make fur used for suits and movies. Yeah, all the synthetic natural fibers that you see with the characters in the theme parks and the movies. So, yeah. Chewbacca, Titan awesome. Hat, oh, yeah, here they made the fur for Wookiees. Look at this fuzzy guy. <laughs> Here's the VR Magic UFO from uh, Boon in VR. They're going on an adventure through space. World crafters. Oh, there we go, another animatronic dinosaur. And this is super cool here. Light up Phoenix. These universal statues, they got some really fun stuff. Get these illuminated uh, giant voodoo dolls. Oh, look at the little, little gator, little gator band here. Look at the washboard, the banjo there. Doing a little dancing. Our belt there is uh, corn cobs. Some great animatronic reindeers over here. And look at there, Santa. Santa doing a little jig. This reindeer here getting down with the trumpet. Oh, and you got Santa. Santa playing the piano over here. Oh, look at the bear. Got the elves over here. I love these kind of elves, like remind me of the old um, old store window scene. So, you tell Joseph, because he doesn't believe me. Well, sure enough, that night. Wanna check out this couch here. Covered in uh, basically just a pile, just a pile of Halloween. LF Studios here. Look at this little robot here with the jetpack. Sing a little song flying through the air. That's super, that's super fun. Papa Smurf here tapping his sign. Coming 2025. See you next year, Papa Smurf. Artistic contractors here. I love this alien bursting forth from the wall. American pinball here. This is Barrio's Barbecue Challenge. There's characters here at uh, Raindrop. Bulldog in the puddle. And a fire that will not keep you warm. Jira Met, they make uh, roller coaster wheels. And I was, yeah, I'm thinking about getting uh, roller coaster wheels put on my car. Mimo Park has these little kid rides, a motorcycle, carousel. Oh, is this a Peppa, Peppa Pig pizza truck? I want to try this Yeti Go. And uh, there's, uh, there's Yeti there with horns, of course. And um, let's see if we can get this fired up. Okay, so it's blowing the balls around. We're gonna reach our hand in there, try to grab. Oh, there we go. Gonna grab the balls and then feed them to the Yeti. I've never. This is fun. I've never seen anything quite like this. Oh my gosh! 
They're difficult. They're difficult to catch. There we go. Got a ball. Feed it to the Yeti. <laughs> okay, this is a lot of fun. Feed the Yeti. There we go. Yeti wants a nice green ball. Whack a clown. I guess uh, instead of whacking moles, we now whack clowns. Ready, set, go. Listen, well, don't hit the red clown. So you get every clown but the red. That's pink. That's red. There we go. Back in my day, we whacked moles. Oh. This is co creation dinosaur here. Again, love checking out all the wide variety of animatronic dinosaurs. I like this uh, dragon or sea monster here. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, look at this gourd here. It's kissing gourd of some sort. <laughs> this is amazing. What have I found? Advanced animations here. Check out this robot. I'm Roy, spelled R-O-I. Roy. And I am an interactive attendant powered by OpenAI's ChatGPT. Oh, you can see up there what his I'm eyes are looking at. He's looking at me. Game changing and state of the art, but the fact that I use OpenAI's generative AI language model pretty much makes me the smartest guy in the room. Being a great conversationalist has opened up a spectrum of career opportunities for me. I can be a customer service assistant, a concierge, or a trade show representative. Or I could just be my witty, entertaining self at your park, FEC, or any venue you can imagine. I can be made to sound like anyone you want, and I'm fluent in several languages. Oh. I'm available to work 24-7, 365. I don't require health care, and I certainly don't need a 401k. This is uh, the grossology, the impolite science of the human body. I think this is actually going on right now at uh, Museum of Science and Industry in Tampa. Now look at these figures here by cost. Oh, look who's hanging out here by DOF Robotics. <laughs> oh, it's Red from Angry Birds. Oh, and he, man, he looks angry. Is he gonna, is he gonna come slingshotting at me? Oh, no, here he goes. <laughs> oh, no, you gotta knock down these pigs. You gotta knock these pigs there. Boo, 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 boo. Good job, good, jo good job, Brad. So proud of you. Oh, this is Rope Land. They make, make uh, more of these like giant hammock style uh, structures. They got these different swings here as well. You can see people crawling around inside the different orifices here. Yeah, I'm not gonna climb in there. I'm gonna get stuck again. We can't go for a swing on this raccoon head. All right, this may have been a mistake here. Let's, let's get a swing going. Ooh. Ooh All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my God. There we go. Oh. That'll do, raccoon. That'll do. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dinosaur Company has this massive Komodo dragon. Look at the size of this guy. Oh, you see him blink? Look at this peacock mantis shrimp. You can even hear him making like shrimpy noises. Winterland Incorporated. Some wonderful Christmassy decorations here, the icy nutcracker. Oh, look at this massive candy throne. Sit down here for a moment on the candy throne, but you know what? We don't got time here to sit 
sit around on a throne. We got more uh, more show to cover. Autograph foliage. They make artificial trees and plants. So a little cornfield here. There's Kern Studios that makes a magnificent fiberglass sculptures, and uh, they also run uh, Mardi Gras World out of uh, New Orleans. Of course, they got their start making Mardi Gras floats. And look at this right here, this tower of sea life, the dolphins swimming around, the fish up there at the top. And here is Daniel's Woodland. I actually got to visit their studios earlier this year. It was a lot of fun to make some great, uh, great animatronics, make a lot of the shooting galleries we visit. You can see over here, the tiki head. They have their uh, tiki birds. Birds are going to serenade us here. Sebastian. Yes, sir, I'm human feet. Oh, yeah, look at the big, uh, big Godzilla head up there. See the door here. Oh, look who it is. Oh, I danced with him the other day. And you just present it right there, and that's triggering it. So. I see you come to me for guidance. <laughs> so, He's, this treasure, he's giving you a treasure hunting clue. I see you come to me for guidance, he says. And so um, that actually brings up a whole other point about the Interact system is that our souvenirs are read writable. Yeah. And that allows the capability of, of setting up things like treasure hunts. Okay. And so if you, you can go and, um, or scavenger hunts. As you visit stations, that information can be recorded on your souvenir that can then be lay, later used to, I don't know, maybe you gain levels or you get some kind of prize. And of course, they're classic shooting galleries here. Let's let's uh, take a take a few shots there. Look at that door. Oh, there's another. There's another target inside there. Okay, so you got to open open the door with a gunshot, then use it again once it opens. Let's see what's in that trash can. Oh, there's a kitty in there. Oh, oh. Oh, see, so yeah, you open the open the stash there. Then there's more targets hiding inside. Oh, we need a few more shots. Those are the cement shoes. <laughs> this is thrill builders here. Oh, look at the dragon. Oh, oh my gosh. Also got that. Uh, <laughs> love the carnivorous plant as well. So fun. Meal FX Studios, some more wonderful masks. This is a Krampus troll. Always love the goblins. Oh, look at this guy. Weird insect head. Oh, these Santas. Here's the Sega booth. Look at that, Sonic the Hedgehog. Here's the Sega Capno Crane. See if we can grab, uh, we can grab Sonic. What's goats and ropes? Pull the pull this rope here to make my goat climb. Oh, and then he needs to get over here, so I need to jump. Okay, these move the goat, and then this makes the goat go up. Yeah, I gotta physically pull the rope. Uh oh, all right, gotta jump over. Come on, goat on a rope. America International here has the spitting dragon. Oh, look at him. It's kind of sad. This is the Elephant Sculpture Company. Very happy, uh, very happy looking alien there. Oh, looks like he wants to put his arm around me. All right, let me get, let me get in there. 
Aw, hey buddy. Unique Rabbit Studios, they always have some fun stuff. See the, the bowling guy there. And look at these pigs. I love the color of all those pigs, like their blue feet. Oh, it's this guy here, he's like at a, at a big beer, and a big burger. Over here at Pipeline Games, if you take your picture with an alpaca, then uh, you can get you a possibility of winning a prize. All right, so these are alpacas. Hey, do they like to be petted? On the neck. On the neck, there we go. Hey guys. Oh, so soft. This ties into their miniature alpaca claw machines that they have here. See if we can grab an alpaca. Hit the button. Oh, okay, that's actually the hole there. It's plugged. But I did pick it up and drop it in the hole technically. This is foam party supplies here. Oh man, look at that foam. What did it just change color? Like hypnotic. Okay, another dinosaur. This is the Walk Dinosaur Company. Oh, look at that, that big chunk of meat down there. Oh, the mighty roar. Oh, look at that. It's the peacock. Oh, 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 wow, that is cool. Looks like a real peacock. All the different pinball machines. Oh, look at this little bus driving around Big Ben. That's a lot of fun. actually missed this yesterday. Apparently uh, Hulk Hogan was here along with uh, Edge or Adam Copeland as he's known now. Uh, this UFC fighter and the Mountie. The Mountie Jack Rougeau was here as well. Dang. Too bad. It wasn't over, it wasn't over this part of uh, the convention center yesterday. It's a Beastcraft booth. A lot of fun, uh, a lot of fun haunt props here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's like an orc or something. I saw him move. Oh yeah, look, he's breathing. See, it's like, I like the idle motion there. Very realistic. And then just Jolly Pirate playing us a tune on his squeeze box. What is that? Cameraman. <laughs> the cameraman? That's actually really cool. Weird. Now look at these vultures here. Push the button. Oh! It's a fiddle. The Grim Reaper playing the fiddle. Vultures picking, picking the carrion. He's an excellent fiddler. Look at this bat. Oh my gosh, look at he's got, he's got like gore hanging from his teeth. Oh, there he goes. Oh jeez. <laughs> it's terrifying. All right, let's see if this if this maniac here does. There he goes. Just thrashing, trying to get out of his straight jacket. Weigel control, look at this dancing fairy here. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's there, she's singing. Just to put it out there. I'm unattached and very, very available. Also, I'm needy. Please love me. Oh, no. His parrot's having emotional problems. One of these prize machines where you cut the, cut the rope. 
And uh, this is very, I've seen these plague doctors around, but I think this is, is this supposed to be, I'm trying to think what this is supposed to be. Is this like a half plague doctor, half mime? I'm not even sure. This is radiant here, these are really cool. So this is just like a individual, like little, like little squares. And they have a fan on it that just causes them to flicker, making that really interesting effect. Oh, look at this. The uh, dancing nutcracker here at uh, Rover International. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? <laughs> oh, that's some good marching. He wants to follow me home. Oh no! <laughs> oh, there we go. Now he's headed back to his booth. The smart JJ bot, the avatar. Hey, smart JJ bot, what are you doing? Oh, so you move him? Move him. See if we can grab. All right, let's see if we can grab him down here. Oh, reach! Oh, reach all the way down. Oh, I think he's got it. I think we got one. Yes, smart JJ bot the avatar. Thank you. Oh, then he counts the tickets. What's he doing? Oh, he's doing a dance for us. Hey, everyone. Oh, I won a hundred tickets. My friend is a winner. Oh, yeah. there. Don't tell everyone I'm a winner. That's embarrassing. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're very kind. These are punching machines where it drops the punching bag down, and then you see uh, how much, uh, how hard you can hit it. I love this weird, this weird dog. Let's see. Who let the dogs out? Okay, we gotta punch this. Give it a knuckle sandwich. Oh, what kind of dog am I? A Tweety Bird? That's not even a dog. But I guess the joke here is this is a dog, but it's also a boxer, which is a type of dog. It all makes sense. Let's play a game of ball madness. Okay, so we step in here. Let's see what this button does. Two, one. Oh no! Uh, all right, they gotta take the ball. They gotta take the ball and put them in the put them in the hole. Boxing yeah. stars here, fighting this guy here. I got my boxing glove on. Let's let's give him all we got. Oh, here. Oh, he went down. <laughs> I think this is Jen's favorite arcade game here. Taiko no Tatsujin. And it looks like they even have a little writable version of the game. Oh, look at this. Even Ski Ball is getting, uh, getting high tech. Oh, your score pops up on the side. Oh, 
Oh, I'm not good at these. Try one more. Oh, man. Wanted to come back up here and check out our pineapple man. They've been carving him during the show. Luck at him. Hopefully they'll, they'll accept my uh, my suggested name of Lord Pineapplicus. So they're doing a drone show tonight here at the uh, convention center to go along with IAPA and apparently they're going to break a world record the uh, most drones used to make a bird so a giant bird in uh, in the sky made of drones made out of uh, 2600 drones so this is supposed to be the ideal place to view the drone show it's the icon park off there in the distance Oh my goodness! Look at them lifting there. And yeah, they just announced it's 2,500 drones flying together. That's a lot of drones. Look at that. All rising up. Uh, it's kind of eerie almost. All those drones. Oh, look at that. But, uh,. But there is, there is the world's largest drone bird. Largest bird ever made entirely of drones. Yeah, I can kind of make out the elephant. And there it comes. Oh, that is so cool. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. This. Yeah, it's like 3D elephant head floating in the sky. Oh, it's a giant, a giant ant. Giant floating ant in the sky. Crazy. Rocket ship up there. Oh, now what's happening? Oh, the astronaut. Oh, wow, the bird. <laughs> you can see the giant book there actually closing its pages. Stop exploring. I won't. And there they are, descending back to planet Earth. So wow, that was very impressive. And they just announced that that was the largest drone show ever flown in the United States of America, which is absolutely crazy. I can't believe I just witnessed something that, uh, that rare and historic and they said that the, I guess the, the Guinness World Record, the world record they were trying to break is the biggest bird created out of drones. And they said that, that apparently the Guinness is on site here and is going to verify that record. And we just witnessed, or right here, that, uh, that we just witnessed the biggest bird made of drones that has ever flown in the sky, ever, in the world so that's pretty amazing and a good cap to an amazing uh two days here at iapa um just over the past few days saw so many amazing things it's, it's all like a crazy blur in my brain the animatronics the rides the new roller coasters the arcade games just so much ground is covered here at uh iapa and i definitely will be back next year because it's absolutely one of my favorite events to attend uh, every year. So the, 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 the coverage of IAPA on the Carpet Beggar channel is now concluding, but we need to get back to the theme parks. I'm planning on uh, continuing my streak of covering different theme parks here in the, um, in the uh, Central Florida region. So I will be back to do that. So stay tuned, those videos will be coming in the upcoming days. 
Um, thank you guys so much for coming along with me for this uh, awesome event. And uh, going to spend the next year yeah, seeing some of these things in person. I think it's cool. I get to see the roller coasters and new rides announced here that I can go to the parks and film them and show you know new things that I see here, new things, you know, new ideas, developing here, we'll be here out in the wild in the upcoming months and years that I can uh, remember back. I saw that at IAPA. So thank you guys so much. If you like the videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country. I film roadside attractions, amusement parks. There's actually, I can hear another fireworks show right now. I don't know. There's you know, so many amusement parks around this area. You can just hear random uh, fireworks going off. I'm trying to think, what's that direction? Does anyone know what's that direction? Leave a comment in the comment section. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Maybe, I know SeaWorld does fireworks. Does Universal, does Universal do fireworks? I'm drawing a blank on that. They do, they do. They have a, they have a, a water show. I think that I, does that. I don't know. It, 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 leave a comment in the comments. Actually, Universal have a fireworks show. I think they do. I think they do. I could be wrong. But thank you so much for uh, joining me over the past two days. Um, if you'd like to help out the channel, consider Patreon, three dollars or more. Get your postcard once a month. Um, also in the Etsy shop, we're selling uh, enamel pins. Enamel pins, enamel pins, enamel pins. Uh, pressed pennies for 2024, the year of the pressed penny. And also the brand new Carpetbagger Motel Key Fob that is still available. I don't know if it's gonna be available for much longer because uh, you lovely people have been purchasing many of those. And uh, doing uh, personalized messages on Cameo. If you're interested in receiving a personalized message from me, check the description of this video. Check the description of the video for all those things I just mentioned. And uh, all that helps keep this train on the track, this roller coaster train on the track, this boat on the water, and this giant drone bird in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one is in the bag.